What lies 330 million light years away from Earth, beyond our reach, and appears empty? It's understandable that we tend to focus on the positive aspects of the vastness of space, but the emptiness it reveals plays a crucial role in shaping our understanding of the cosmos. Back in 1923, Edwin Hubble revolutionized our perception of the universe by demonstrating that it was far larger than previously thought. This discovery forced us to reconsider our initial assumptions about space, which we once regarded as merely a collection of swirling gas clouds. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos, we encounter unexpected phenomena, such as vast expanses of cold, lonely nothingness, larger than anyone had ever imagined. Scientists have peered into this abyss, searching for answers. In this exploration, we will uncover how NASA stumbled upon a void in the universe where nothing seems to exist. Join us as we embark on this journey of discovery. In the year 1981, a significant number of galaxies' redshifts were calculated by Robert Kirshner and fellow astronomers at the University of Michigan. Redshift is a measure of how fast an object is moving away from Earth, and it helps us determine its distance. Kirshner and his team used Redshift to create a 3D map of the cosmos. However, as they filled in this map, something unusual emerged. A vast blank space located 700 million light years from Earth. In comparison, the Milky Way might fit into a roughly spherical region around 330 million light years in diameter, where galaxies are scarce, a colossal ghost town in space. If galaxies were cities, then these voids would be the suburbs, and the interior would be the remote wilderness. Just as an atlas needs both cities and roads to be complete, scientists are venturing into these vast voids to complete their understanding of the cosmos. As we observe the cosmos, it often resembles a vast web with invisible strands of dark matter supporting its structure. Think of it as a cosmic foam, like bubbles in a bathtub. Galaxy clusters gather in walls, filaments, and intersections, similar to where soap bubbles cluster in a sudsy bath. If our galaxy were situated within one of these voids, it could create the illusion that we are at the center of the universe. However, this is not a statistical coincidence. It wasn't until 1998 that scientists discovered dark energy, a cosmic force causing the expansion of empty spaces as if the entire universe were inflating simultaneously. This expansion is driven by the gravitational pull of the dense edges of these voids being much stronger than that of their centers. But the universe isn't old enough to have inflated such enormous voids. Scientists are diligently cataloging and mapping these voids, providing us with more precise maps of our universe. Galaxies are not evenly distributed, they are arranged in a vast web-like structure, with most galaxies found in long, winding formations called filaments. These filaments intersect to form clusters, regions densely packed with galaxies. However, amidst these threads, there are expansive voids, often between 30 and 300 million light-years wide, accounting for about 80% of the observable universe. One of the largest voids, known as booties, was formed when several smaller voids merged. Initially, it was believed that matter, emerging from the early universe's tightly packed state, would be uniform. However, random quantum fluctuations caused slight variations in matter's distribution. Some areas became denser, increasing their gravitational pull, while less dense areas grew denser, in turn attracting more matter. The rapid expansion of the universe magnified these fluctuations, eventually spanning hundreds of millions of light years. Astronomers study these massive structures to gain insights into the early universe. Recent advances in telescope and imaging technology have allowed for more accurate mapping, such as the Dark Energy Survey, which has mapped a significant portion of the southern sky. By comparing these maps with simulations, Astronomers aim to understand how our universe evolved. However, there's a particular region of the universe that has perplexed astronomers located about 3 billion light-years from Earth. 
Supercomputers can now model the universe's evolution from the first seconds after the Big Bang to its current state. While examining approximately 300 million galaxies, astronomers stumbled upon a perplexing location, a cold, desolate void. This cold spot was initially identified as a region from which minimal energy was emitted. Surprisingly, it contained about 10,000 fewer galaxies than expected, spanning a staggering 1.8 billion light years in diameter. Recent research by astronomers from the University of Hawaii and other institutions has suggested that this region contains 20% less matter than other areas in the observable universe. In 2004, scientists measured a form of energy called the Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, a remnant of the Big Bang, which permeates the entire cosmos. This CMB, a form of heat energy, results from the universe's expansion over billions of years. However, as researchers studied the CMB, they discovered a significant region in the direction of the constellation Eridanus that had a much higher temperature than expected. The most straightforward explanation for the cold spot was that it was merely an empty region with few galaxies. However, this explanation contradicted prevailing theories that assumed the universe should be relatively homogeneous. In 2009, a search for voids in that direction turned up nothing. Some proposed errors in the CMB data analysis, while others suggested it might be evidence of a parallel universe. To understand the effects of voids, imagine the cosmos as Swiss cheese, with holes representing empty spaces devoid of matter and gravitational attraction. When photons, light particles from the CMB enter a void, they lose energy but regain it when exiting. However, since the universe is constantly expanding, the voids become less dense over time, reducing the gravitational pull on incoming photons. This results in photons having slightly less energy and a lower temperature than those from other parts of the sky. In 2007, astronomers counted radio emitters in the direction of the cold spot and found a low-density region, supporting the idea of a massive void. However, competing studies in visible wavelengths cast doubt on these findings. To address these uncertainties, researchers led by Istvan Sabruti of the University of Hawaii created a 3D map of nearby galaxies using data from two telescopes. This map covered galaxies only 3 billion light-years away, a relatively modest distance in the vast universe. According to overall galaxy density in the cosmos, the researchers did not map galaxies farther out as in previous studies. This analysis revealed a massive void with about 10,000 fewer galaxies than expected. While promising, this study is complex and subject to errors due to various assumptions. The author acknowledges that assuming a single gigantic void may be overly simplistic, and further investigations are needed to understand the nature of voids and cold spots fully. In an era of data-driven knowledge, determining the universe's density on either side of these voids is more challenging than anticipated. As we continue to explore the vastness of space, we uncover unexpected phenomena, such as colossal voids and cold spots in the universe. These mysteries challenge our understanding of the cosmos and prompt us to refine our theories and models. The search for answers continues, and each discovery offers unique insights into the nature of our universe. As we learn more about the mysteries of the universe, what do you think is out there that we don't know about yet? Engage with us by leaving a comment, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the notification bell for regular updates. Keep watching, stay inspired, and get ready for more exciting discoveries. See you in our next episode.